There are strong indications that the emergence of Governor Godwin Obaseki as the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, for the Edo governorship election may hit a brick. This is because efforts to reach a compromise with the leadership of the PDP in Edo and South South has proven difficult. Reports indicate that talks broke down during a reconciliatory meeting held in Abuja with a prominent governor in the South South pulling out of the meeting. The influential governor, it was guarded, wanted the party structure to be retained by a leader of the PDP in Edo State. Joining us now is Dapo Daramola, a political analyst. Pleasure to have you on the news. I, I, I know. A yes, indeed. I know you're not um, um, a lawyer, but what is your understanding of these conflicting uh, rulings of the court? Well, um, we've been we've been it's sad that we've been witnessing this in the last couple of weeks, uh, considering what has happened in the All Progressive Congress. Um, uh, if you look at the tussle for the chairmanship of the party or the acting chairmanship of the party following the suspension of the um, de facto chairman, and that's in the person of Adam Zali or Shyamalan, you keep you know getting different um, judgments, you know, um, and so it has extended to the PDP, and where. We anticipated this. If you remember last week on Plus Politics, I remember I mentioned that we should look out for this because the drama was just unfolding. And so in the first place, I think what will happen is that there is a judgment, that there is an order that say that, that restrains um, uh, the governor, gubernatorial aspirant in the person of the uh, present governor of the state. Um, and they are, we've been told by the court that, that that would be looked into the final judgment will be delivered it it was agreed that it will be expeditiously expeditiously treated and by june 24 we will have you know the the final verdict so for me whether there's a conflicting one or not the truth of the matter is that i know that well legally speaking if you're asking me yes i'm not a lawyer but at the same time we know that you cannot get judgments from two high courts it's not possible what will have happened was that an appeal should have been instituted against the original you know order that was given uh, and so th that was what we expected because the, the party was told i mean sorry the obaseki and others were told to be served in the in the national you know publication for them to know that the order exists now in an environment where they've gone ahead to get another judgment well i can tell you that the other judgment will be disregarded at the end of the day because they cannot get another judgment from you know uh, a, a court of equal, you know, uh, responsibility and authority. It, it's not possible. So, yes, as confusing as the judgment or the drama around the judgments may be, the truth of the matter is that there was an order in the first place. And that order, you know, has to be respected. They've been told to be served, you know, via a publication, you know, national publication. So I'm not surprised that, you know, this is coming because they, are, they will fight tooth and nail. Uh, this is politics, uh, you know, and it's for is okay. survival of the fittest. So, unfortunately, whatever is going on, I think at the end of the day, the National Judicial Commission, you know, has a lot of work to do. Okay, but before we that, get on there, I, I want to ask you, what is the implication of all these politicking um, when it comes to this particular election? No, it's politics of, of survival. I've said it before. It's all about survival. Everybody will, will throw in their weight, you know, because nobody wants to lose out easily. So you will explore every opportunity possible. And don't forget, the first is, you know, to have constant consultations and to see how you can get, win more people to your side within the party. Of course, the likes of uh, the man who instituted, you know, this, this uh, I mean, the court process in the person of Ogbae Dei Hama, uh, of course, from Oregon, knows that there is no other means because within the party, the party hierarchy have already concluded. And if you listen carefully to even... Um, some of the party members, including legal people within the party. It is not about, you know, because you ask yourself, within their own constitution, if you look at chapter 2 or chapter 8, that talks about membership of the party and even contesting for public offices within the party. There is nothing that talks about waiver. So that, that's number one. Nothing talks about waiver, which is what, you know, the man has gone to court to challenge. That, that in the first place, there was a process in place. And after the process has been concluded, nobody can come in in between and say he has, you know, the, the, the leverage or the latitude to contest. So what the what Iyama, Iyama, uh, Obey the Hama, sorry, 
has gone to court to press is in line with the constitution of the party because it doesn't exist within the, you know, the framework of, of, of the party constitution. However, it is possible, morally speaking, that the party can consider you know, uh, within themselves what is our best shot. If they feel that Godwin Obasaki is their best shot out of all the candidates that they have that is the strongest to contest against you know, the likes of uh, uh, Pastor Isaiah Yamu, then they must come together and there must be a consensus. Now, in trying okay. to get to the consensus is, what, is where you are having these issues. Where Kenneth Imaswagon has come openly to say that he, he knows they will come to him, and I'm sure they're already getting to people like that. So step All right, down. Let, of course, let's, let's look at it. Because the, the, the whole thing going down in Edo State is not just with the PDP. We know there's still a situation yes. with the APC, in spite of the fact that they've had of their course. primary. Today, we saw that uh, the... Uh, police sealed off the party secretariat in Abuja. Uh, what do you think is going to play out? That is it that the APC is still not um, uh, getting a grasp of how to manage the affairs? No, no doubt. Like I said before, there are a group of people. Okay, I've said it before. There are two camps within the APC, as we all know. Even when we heard within the week that there are thirteen governors who are pro Shemole, and there are seven governors who are anti oshabole We also know that some federal ministers, and I will say, I will name the names, including Honorable, you know, Roti Michi, Buika, Amechi, the likes of um, uh, Nasai Rufai as governor, Roti Makere Dolu, and the list is endless. Within the party, they want to unseat, you know, Oshomole for a purpose. And so whatever you are saying, Giyadom throw around, Giyadom now becomes, you know, the, the chess, you know, the, sorry, you know, he's now the one being used, you know, to fight, you know, the party establishment to kick out Oshiamole. So whatever you're seeing is just some, some people throwing, you know, spanner in the wheels of progress of the party. Now, this drama is not, you know, unusual. Whenever you have, you know, two factions, so to say, within the party struggling, okay, for the, for the, for the, uh, so for the strength of, of the party, the authority of the party, it is understandable. Don't forget, I've, I've said it before, you know, on this channel that if you cast your mind back, there was a time John Oyegu was the chairman of the party. He was wrestled out. Oshomal, of course, and Bola Ahmed Chinubu came together as forces, and the unseated John Oyegu is not been happy. And there are people within the party, like I said, like Nasa Erufai, Rotina Amechi, Okorocha, the list is endless, you know, Bikula Mosu, who are fighting to ensure that Oshomal is kicked out as the chairman. So all this drama you are seeing is, for me, is expected when it comes to politics in our country. It's right. never about ideology. Thank it's you never so about much. Ideology. Thank it's about you know the survival and 2023 is what they all have in mind. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dakbo Daramola, for your thoughts on the issue. It's always my pleasure. Always my pleasure. You take care.